Alex. <laughs> understand you. All I'm saying is that you just have to worry about school. That's it. Well, it's not that easy for me. I've watched my mom live under my dad's shadow for way too long, and that got her nowhere. I want my own life, my own money, my own career. So working at fast food joints is like, that's a career for you? <laughs> See, I, that's somebody, I, thought, I taught you better than that. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Is this how it's going to be if we continue to stay in this little relationship? Are you going to try to control everything I do? How do I know 10 years down the line you're not going to leave me like my dad leaves my mom? Look, then that's, what? That's not what I'm saying. Is I know how hard it is for you to go to school and go to work at the same time. I'm making enough money in my business to take care of the stuff that you want and the stuff that I need, that we both need, and still run my business. Look, all I'm saying is, you can come work for me. What? So you want to hire me to come work for you? Yeah. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You want to control everything I do, Jamal, and that's just not cool. What? I mean, I understand that you're mad right now, but just give us some time. Just think about it. Wait a minute, Jamal. I got to go to work. How about you take off? I'm just playing. Come here. Come to that. You all sad. Oh man, what you mad for? Dang. What? Get on my last nerves. But you love me though. Not today. Not today. Oh, okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. Alright. Oh, uh, you mind taking me to work? Oh, so like, I'm just one of your little chauffeurs now. Quit playing. Come on, babe. About. It's getting warm. Him and my mama must be back at it again. He not my real dad anyway, so it don't matter. Girl, you know that's your real daddy. You look just like him. Uh, first of all, me and him I don't even look alike. And second, I get tired of you always saying stuff like that. <laughs> I wish my mama married someone better. Made my life would be less stressful. If your mama had married somebody different, you wouldn't be here soon. But I understand. I know the situation is a little weird for you. But my mama always tells me. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Graduation is just around the corner, girl. Keep your eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. And that's exactly why we gotta go hit the books. And we gotta work later, so let's just go. As of last Friday, six American churches have been set on fire with no arrests made. So we wanted to think about tolerance and intolerance. So we wanted to think about the town I live in has been highly religious ever since I can remember. Everything's right one way and everything else is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but God's word. I just pray that the jury sees what I see in Mr. Cates. He wasn't trying to force us to believe in evolution. He was just sharing his knowledge. I suppose this case is in God's hands now. Now that case guy is very brave.
I told him this afternoon? I saw the way he was looking at me. Like he could see right through my clothes. And I knew he talked to me about me. I didn't have to imagine what they said. I heard them talk about women, so I know what they said. But I let myself think about that. I let it slip right out of my mind because I know how to take care of myself. I'm not gonna be no broke old woman banging down 125th Street, dreaming about fine clothes and French champagne. So I drank with him. And I listened to him tell me how long he would want to get to know me. And I let him put his hands on my knee like I didn't notice. And I pretended not to. And I laughed and laughed just to keep some noise up in that room that was so quiet. And then I stood up to pour myself another drink and I saw myself in the mirror and I thought, what is this poor, crazy colored woman laughing about? When I turned around, there was Tony waiting for his answer. So 